Special guest, what this is though? Speakeasy from the Woodward Heavyweights. Airs five to seven every single night on the Woodward Sports can, YouTube channel. Can I throw something out there? I'm honored, boys. And, and congratulations, by the way. Well deserved. I'm proud of all you guys in this room right now. This is our first guest on our show. Thanks, pal. Right? This is. Have we ever? We've never had a guest on the show. Number one. Th this yeah, for real. This is yes, you are. And let me let me be honest here, real quick. When I started at Woodward Sports, I started the Booner Sports Show. That was my first thing I did here. Easy was my first guest. Ooh. I started to believe me later with Lucas. <laughs> Easy was my first guest. Let's go. And now on Woodward Nights live, Monday through Friday, eight to ten. Easy is my first guest. Let's go. Let's Easy. go. How are you feeling about that? I know you just did a show from five to seven and kind of went over everything, but yeah, kind of give the people, how are you feeling after that? You're one of the biggest lion slappies and fans I've ever met in my life. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's truly like, it, I, it sounds great. It's I kind of like unbelievable. Like, like we are like living in a dream. That That's the expression I like, like to use. I was talking to my boy, Tony earlier. It, it just feels like I'm living in a dream. That's why like last night, I didn't allow myself to go to sleep. I, I'm living this moment right now. I've dreamt of this so many times. Like, not just, like, beating a team like the Kansas City Chiefs or Patrick Mahomes. Having four rookies help you do it. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, and then, like, the part that goes beyond the dream is those four rookies' first night on the field getting action. It's, things are looking up, man. I, I'm i talking all my shit as a Detroit Lions fan because we can finally do it. Baby. Ass, it it feels like to toes. me, I told I Bona this earlier to open the show, I feel like I died, like, in real life, and I'm, like, actually, like... A little bit in heaven? Like, in heaven, and, yes. like, all this lion stuff is happening. And, yes. like, I, you know, like, if you die, you just don't know you died. And yeah. I'm just, like, everything in my life right now is going great. I'm sitting up here with these beautiful listeners watching me, and, like, yes. I have a show. And the Detroit Lions just won, and they're 1-0, and they're, like, one of the best teams in the league. Right? I feel like I literally died as a Lions fan, and then I'm just in heaven right now, and then, like, I just don't know it. And I think this is actually happening. And it is. Yeah, it is crazy, man. Easy, you brought up the rookies. Like, what yeah. does that tell you? They all performed last night. What does that tell you about Brett Holmes and his ability to go out and find not only the talent that these players have, but to be ready for a moment like that? That speaks to the – I think all four of them were captains, if not two-year captains on their respective teams. Yeah. Like, what an incredible – what an incredible eye for knowing what his team needs. What, yeah. what, what do you have to say about that? Man, like, to be honest with you, like, like the shouts, like, everyone who's truly going, like, doing it is, like, Brad Holmes, his scouts, like, like his regional scout. Like, they're just, they're amazing. They are amazing. And for Brad Holmes to have, like, the cojones and the final say-so to, like, make the moves, to finesse around the draft, to, like, land the guys he wants. And I, I've said this all the time before, but in the Defend the Den episode where he's, like, in the beginning of the second round, not a single pick has been made yet. Brad's like, you know what I want? I want Brian Branch and Sam Laporta. Guess who he got? Brian Branch and Sam he Laporta. He got both of them. <laughs> he Call got the both shot. of them. And you know what he did, too, to and get Brian he Branch? Got, he got ballsy with Branch, too, because like that's a guy he thought would go a little bit earlier. Yes. He didn't. And but he made the move and grabbed when he was available. Who he took him from? Packers. The Green Bay Packers. Packers. He, he traded up with the Green Bay Packers Man. took Brian Branch. He that, keeps I making these moves in, inside the division. Them. Yes. And it's pumping out Jamison Williams. It's yes. pumping out Brian Branch. I don't know what – if I'm a Vikings, Packers, or Bears GM, and no I see more, that 3 doing no more number call, us. For sure I, not doing any more I'm not picking plus. up that phone, yeah. but they keep doing it. They keep doing it. Wild. Wild. Do we, do we oh. trade with the Bears ever? No, fuck I would the Bears. no, but I would love to trade with the Bears and just just ruin their franchise. We don't need to trade with them. We just steal their players. David Montgomery, though. Yeah, hey, I, I didn't realize until th this morning when I was looking. I know Flannel said that he averaged like three point five uh, yards a carry, yeah. seventy something yards. Like the, he quietly, like it's not being talked about enough what David Montgomery did last night. I, I think a lot of people missed the movie he did before that touchdown too. He had a little little inside yeah. cut. And then put the shoulder down. Yeah, Sam Laporta, yeah, Sam Laporta Broder, Laporta yeah. Block. You guys see that? The Sam Laporta block on that play? Oh, it's yes. incredible. It, that, it was unbelievable. that blew my mind. I, I mean, like, I thought he'd be a little better, better blocker. He is. He looked, he looked really, really good. I, I mean, am I crazy to say great? I don't want to. No. Am I jumping no, the you, gun there? You about right. Man, how crazy. That was supposed to be like a forte of his. <laughs> He looked really good doing it yesterday. He looked like he belonged. Like, he looked like oh, an NFL man. player, and you don't see that. In fact, all four of them really did. You don't see yeah. that very often out of rookies just looking the and, part. And it's, it's a dream. Game, it's, it's, it's game dream. one. It's game one. Game one. For all of those guys. Brian Branch picked six. Yeah. Sam Laporta, what, five catches for 30, 40 yards. Uh, 
who am I missing here? Missing Jack Campbell and Jack missing Jameer Campbell. Gibbs. First of all, Jack Campbell, before the Brian Branch interception, knocking that pass down, and then the Brian Branch interception right after. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if anyone noticed it, Jack Campbell was everywhere when he was on the field. <laughs> and true. he's dangerous out there. He takes dudes' heads off. We said that on the stream last night was yeah. he's playing the most dangerous football out there out of everyone. Can you imagine seeing him come down on special teams? You get a kick, you feel a kick or a punt. And he did some damage on special teams. But to see 6'5", 245 yeah. just coming, I, I, I picture uh, Adam Sandler and the water boy. Just oh, and Jameer Gibbs. Oh. Animal. Animal. And Gibbs, man. Gibbs is a – did you I, – I saw a report uh, today. I, I don't know if I got butt crack sports or what. But it said basically that Dan Campbell – just said, hey, we wanted a, the reason we didn't give him the touches that he we wanted to was we wanted him to get get a feel of the game and just kind of feel what it's like to be out on the NFL field. Especially it's a big NFL moment, Chiefs. man. It's a and big moment. He said after he said, now we know, now we know what we can do, and he's going to start getting those touches. He's going to start getting a feel for the game, and the next week seems like the week that he's going to get opened up a lot more. Broder said best you, on the heavyweight. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Did you see what he did on that um that cut? Did you see that? Oh, he. I don't know if you guys bet two that touchdown, ones that were just... but I don't know what linebacker that was. Oh, he was about to like one two move the hell out of him. Did you see that head, the helmet the helmet one where he just just truck someone on the sideline? Gibbs. Yeah. Oh, that's his, that's his oh, first he had run. Oh, stare down. Seventeen yard run to uh to in the first quarter. He lowers his shoulder on uh, Brian Cook. Dominated Chief safety him too. That that was one of my favorite plays to start the game. Was that the stare down? You beat me to it. When it was like. I don't, I'm not remembering quarter. the stare down, but it was one. He, he, he broke yeah. a couple tackles. Uh, he, he did a little spin move, and then Brian Cook comes. All right, I'll, I'll lower my shoulder. Yeah. It was incredible. Okay.